Hey everyone, how's it going? How has everyone's week been? I wanted to give you a going on week five update um, on my plenity journey. Um, so just a couple of things that have happened and or changed this week. So I actually took a mini vacation last week. My family and I have just been stir crazy. We have not left the house. Um, I have actually not left my 11 year old daughter in 400 days. Like we've been together every single day. Um, and so I was vaccinated in April, in May, sorry, in May. Um, and my husband is fully vaccinated too. And so we were like, you know what, let's just go somewhere. So we booked a two night vacation. We went to Ocean City. Um, we knew the weather wasn't going to be great, but we just wanted to get out. So um, this week is an update with um, the uh, with going on vacation included, because I know that that's, that's been an issue that's come up, like uh, folks have been asking, like, you know, how are you eating and how are things going with food? Um, so I'll go ahead and insert my weigh in um, right now. Um, and you can see that like my weight is kind of s sort of it, it's it, it went up a couple of pounds, um, but I am not going to blame vacation for that. So I actually did work out every day on vacation. The um, hotel that we stayed at had a really fantastic gym and I just told myself that I was going to keep on working out. Um, so I did um, uh, 40 minutes of cardio both days that we were there both nights. Um, and my kids and I walked to the beach and we like walked a lot. So I actually feel good about that. Um, in terms of food, I didn't eat the greatest. Um, I had ice cream, I had french fries, um, we had sandwiches, um, and for breakfast I had eggs. And so I did, didn't intend on keeping my calorie counting during that time. And so yes, the scale has gone up a couple pounds. However, I am also just about to get my, my period. So I know that that is um, a reason why it's fluctuated. And um, someone had asked me a couple of, uh, like a week ago, how many pounds have I lost in a month? So um, what I wanted to do is just kind of compare a month ago on um, May 30, March 31st versus February 28th. I think that's like 30, 31 days, something like that. Um, and give or take a pound or two, I've lost around six pounds um, in a month. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm happy with the progress that I'm making. Um, I do wish that I could see faster progress. Obviously, everyone wishes that, and they wish that they could see faster progress. Um, but I'm not defeated. Um, I'm not, you know, d defeated. I'm not feeling like it's time for me to give up. I'm actually even more motivated now. Um, so I am starting to feel that my like my um, my gym routine is becoming stagnant. Um, I'm working out again, like I said, every single day. And I there's a couple of like trouble spots that I w really want to hone in on. Um, most importantly, like my arms, like I don't know if you can see, but like I have muscle, but I also have fat on the bottom of my arms. So I'm, I'm looking to get rid of this and I've been lifting to try to, um, you know, speed that up. So I went ahead, I have a sweat belt that I wear, a sauna belt that I wear, um, and then I use the sweet sweat underneath of it. Um, and I got the arm bands that are for the same reason. So I got the arm bands um, to put the sweet sweat, which is like a, it's like a menthol um, cream that you put on yourself and it actually enhances sweating. So when I wear this, the sweat belt, I'll take it off and I'll, it'll be like dripping water. It's really gross, but it actually does feel fantastic because you feel like that you're cutting weight and you're cutting any of the, the water retention. And especially now for me, um, because I'm retaining so much water, um, this is a really good time to enhance the, uh, the water release that's happening in my body. Um, so I, you know, I'm feeling good. I, oh, another thing I did want to mention. So I did bring Plenity with me on the trip, um, but I didn't take it. I, it's, it's really, you have to remind yourself, like you really have to be very purposeful about taking it an hour before the meal. Otherwise it doesn't do anything. Like, and again, I said, even though the instructions say take it every or 20 minutes before the meal, I take it an hour before because otherwise I don't feel anything. Um, 
so I did not take it. Like I think maybe I took it one time. Um, and so I wasn't eating more, like I wasn't eating more meals. I was eating the same amount of meals. Um, I wasn't snacking because we were on vacation. I don't, ha we, we didn't really have that many snacks. I brought apples with me um, and I think I ate one of them, um, but I wasn't taking the Planity. So I'm back to the Planity. I, I, we were only gone for two nights. I got back on Friday. Um, and then I was taking it Friday, Saturday, Sunday was Easter. Uh, we um, actually got back from the beach and tested for COVID so we could go visit my elderly in-laws. Um, and they had a big old Easter uh, dinner. Um, so what I did that day, because I knew that I was going to expend all my calories uh, for Easter, is I actually had... Um, I don't even know what I had for breakfast. I had something incredibly light, like nothing. And then I didn't have lunch. And so my 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 calories were all Easter. And I did work out that morning. I actually worked out really hard that morning. So I didn't calorie count um, yesterday either because, again, I, I knew that I w should be within my calories because I worked out, I didn't eat, and I saved all my calories for the, the one meal. Um, so... Where I am right now is I'm starting to feel like I need to bring on a personal trainer. Um, I I think I mentioned this in one of my early videos, but I, I grew up playing uh, tennis. I was actually uh, really good, ranked, um, I, I grew up in Canada and I was ranked in Canada. I was ranked top five um, in the province. And I played varsity tennis in college for the first um, year of my undergraduate um, degree. So I have an athletic build and I have kind of my, the muscle memory is still there. My body can pay, can do something athletic, even though I'm, you know, 30 pounds overweight. So I feel like I need to bring on a personal trainer to kind of tell me what I need to do to confuse my muscles because I've been doing the same weightlifting routine. I think I mentioned three days a week. Um, it's a weight loss, weightlifting for weight loss circuit. It's nine exercises times three, um, three, 12 reps, three times. So I'm like just completely spent, but I know I can push myself harder because my muscles don't hurt the next day. And that's for me kind of an indication and a sign that I'm not pushing myself hard enough. Before the pandemic, I did body pump. And for anyone who does Les Mills body pump, you know it's exhausting. And I would feel it for days after. And I don't feel that way when I'm lifting. So I know I need to do something. I just don't want to bring myself to spend the $200 to do a um, to do like a three session personal training, but I'm going to do it. Um, so I have a goal and I'm going to share that goal with you. Um, so right now I would say my weight is 238, 239. And my goal is by May 23rd, um, which is a little less than two months from now, I would like to be down another 10 pounds. I think that that's very reasonable. Um, I'm going to visit my family that I haven't seen in two years um, in Canada. If I can be less than that, then that's great. But I just want to feel um, like I'm going in the right direction um, as I go visit my family. So... I'm hoping that you all will hold me accountable and, you know, comment below if you have goals as well. I really want to help you follow this journey. Um, I took some before and after pictures of myself. Um, I will insert them. Um, I'm very uh, not, obviously not thrilled by by them, but I will insert them just to kind of have that accountability and that accountability system. Um, so... Along with my numbers and along with my measurements, which I'm going to check again in a couple of weeks, I'm hoping that I can start to see the, um, the scale and everything move in the direction I want it to move because I am being really dedicated. Um, I had a comment a couple weeks ago where a gentleman or a, a lady, I'm not sure, um, was saying that something doesn't add up with all this exercise that I'm doing. Why am I still obese? And... Thank you to the person who stuck up for me. I appreciate it. But I wasn't offended at all. I've always had that kind of um, in the back of my head, the looming, like, what is, what is the deal? What's the issue? It's just really hard for me to lose weight. Like, I um, need to do twice as much because, again, I have an athletic mind frame. Um, I need to double whatever everyone else is doing. And I'm over 40. I'm, I'm 43 this year. And my metabolism has slowed down incredibly. 
in the past, all I would have to do is calorie count and I would lose like 30 pounds in three months. Um, I also did keto before and I lost really, really quickly. I think I mentioned that, but I feel like now things are slowing down. Um, I'm not sure if I should be changing my diet. Um, I thought about taking out dairy. Um, I don't have any sort of negative side effects with it, but I thought about taking it out and seeing whether or not that make, makes a difference. Um, but for now, I mean, I'm eating, like for today, I've intermittent fasted in the morning. I had coffee for breakfast, sugar-free creamer. Um, and then for lunch, I had um, like a Mediterranean salad with balsamic vinaigrette with olive oil. And then I had, um, lobster on top of it like i had put lobs like lump lobster on top of it it's really awesome um and then i had a diet coke so that was my lunch that's all i've eaten today um i did did, the, did take the plenity i did notice that i was getting full as soon as i got to the kind of the end of the salad i couldn't finish the diet coke um after lunch i had a, a craving for my kids got a lot of easter chocolate and i just see all those chocolates on the table and the recess and i'm like no I cannot, I'm not going to. So I'm actually going to go downstairs and cut myself half an, half an apple before I go work out. So I get a little bit of the sugar and the energy that I need before I go to the gym and work out. Um, so that's my weekly update. Um, I hope you're all having a fantastic week. The weather's getting warmer. I hope you're getting out there and um, working out, moving. Um, if you have started your Plenty D journey, um, please comment below. Let me know how things are going, if you're feeling a difference. Um, and I will talk to you all next week. Have a great day.